This is one on one session with the Forum IS founder and director Ayush Sinha. In this session, students are asked questions to test their preparedness for the personality test. One on one sessions are not mock panel sessions. Yes, please. Sir. Yeah, please. Yeah. Have a seat. Thank you, sir. When is the date of your interview? It's still not on. Make yourself comfortable. I'll ask you a couple of questions first. Sure. Comfortable? Yes. So, Arjun, can you briefly begin by introducing yourself to me? Yes, sir. So, so my name is Arjun Gupta uh, and I come from the city of Jammu. Uh, I've done my schooling in Jammu itself till class 12 and post that I went on to join IIT Kanpur and did my bachelor's and master's in economics and graduated from there in 2020. Uh, during my college days, I had the opportunity to represent the college in national RBI policy challenge and we won that competition uh, among, like in India. Uh, apart from that, post my college, I joined McKinsey as in a role of analyst. Uh, so in 2021, I left the job after one year. And I've been preparing for civil services examination and Indian economic services. And recently, Indian economic services results were out, and I've secured all India rank one. Uh, and apart from that, during my leisure, leisure time, I do yoga and meditation, and I also try to watch sports as much as possible, uh, especially with special interest in cricket and badminton. Arjun, you have so much background in economics. Tell me, during the lockdown. Yes, we saw that while the Sensex was booming, yes, the GDP was contracting. Yes, yeah, there was a negative. Yes. What is the reason? What is the reason behind this type of trouble? So, firstly, I think there is a, a fundamental reason that Sensex is forward looking, while GDP is the current state of economy. And secondly, in terms of savings, because rich people or the higher income households, they actually saved a lot because there were less travel or less expenditure on other things which led to uh, much more savings and they were investing in the stocks, which led to boom in the uh, synthetic market. So these were the two primary reasons, according to my knowledge. You are also from IIT Kanpur. Yes. Kanpur has a dubious distinction when it comes to its uh, contribution to the Ganga River. Yes. What is it? So firstly, as a uh, city, uh, it is the stretch in the Kanpur region is very polluted. And it, that is primarily attributed to the various industries that are located in the banks of Ganga, on the banks of Ganga River and they are discharging effluents there. But apart from that, uh, I think recently uh, there have been efforts by the government and IIT Kanpur is actually contributing to those efforts to make the plan for a national strategy for a Ganga Action Plan. And therefore there is this distinction, but uh, Kanpur is eventually uh, gaining ground and uh, basically improving on that. Uh, you've worked with McKinsey and you've done so. What is the reason that despite your so much interest in economics, what is the reason that you want, want to move to a more generalist profile? So I have worked in economics, I've done research during my college days and I've also been in McKinsey. Uh, but I feel uh, I want to work at the grass, grassroots levels uh, because uh, recently I also did a project with an IAS officer and I realized the kind of intelligence that is available on the ground. Because as economists also say that uh, the recent macroeconomic framework is based on micro foundations. So being working on the ground, I'll be able to much more analyze that kind of micro level uh, behavior of the people. And maybe at the later stage of my career as a journalist, I would be able to get, get good exposure to different sectors. And eventually, if I want to specialize in economics, that would also help me to gain uh, knowledge from different sectors and eventually contribute much more to the economic. And why civil service? So because the, it is one of those jobs which allows you to work on the ground. Uh, with ha having direct contact with the people, understanding their behavior. Uh, and apart from that, I think uh, my stint at IIT Kanpur also exposed me to work on the ground during my counseling service uh, student body. A person from India recently yes, sir. Uh, received the Nobel Prize in Economics. From India recently, uh, sir, Abhijit Banerjee uh, in 2018 received the prize. Is he an Indian? Uh, he was Indian origin, uh, but I'm not sure of the current status. Uh, but and who else along with him? Uh, in 2019, or uh, uh, so Esther Deplo and one more economist, I'm not how is she related to him? So she is married to him, and she was also her, his postdoc student. Why was he given the Nobel Prize? 
So uh, 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 he was basically awarded no Nobel Prize for the RCT, randomized control testing, so to analyze how the economic policies or the basic policies work in the country uh, by having a control group who are affected by those policies and who do, who is, do, uh, those are not. So basically analyzing how the policies work between have and have not. What are the major challenges before Indian economy today? According to so firstly, I think would be the inequality, which is on the rise in the backdrop backdrop of pandemic and the unemployment rates that we're seeing. So there's uh, this issue of K-shaped recovery that is growing. So we need to understand. I often hear the word W-shaped recovery. Yes. What does this mean? So so basically means uh, like uh, economy going down, then recovering to some level, and then again going back, and then recovering. So it's kind of a W-shaped recovery in the sense that it's not stable, but up going up and down. So in the Indian case, what sort of recovery are we seeing? So there is a mix of V-shaped and K-shaped recovery uh, because some levels of economy are back to the pre-pandemic. So there is a evidence of V-shaped. But certain sectors like MSME, they have not gone back to the actual levels. And we are seeing a rise in inequality where corporates are doing well, but MSMEs are not. GST has finished five years. Yes. Uh, do you think it has killed the MSMEs? So I would uh, not say that it has killed. Uh, it's a new law a new regime which would take time to uh, like release its benefits to the people and i think it has actually helped msmes in the sense that it has reduced the compliance burden it has reduced the cost that was earlier there and uh, we are seeing that ease of doing business is actually helping the msmes in that sense uh, if the parliament would frame where to frame a good law yes what would be the criteria of a good law according to you so good law would be something which is based on uh, constitution uh, constitutional morals uh, the preamble, the fundamental rights. This that is be, okay. It is in yes. with the constitutional value. That is one test. What is the other test? The other test should be it should be easily be uh, like people should be able to understand that law easily, and the implementation should be good. Because we have had the best laws, but the implementation is something we are lacking. At. What is triple balance sheet problem? Sorry, sir, I am not aware of the term. What is the twin balance sheet problem? So twin balance sheet is when we have. Uh, on one hand, uh, the corporates having high debt levels, and on the second hand, we also have uh, banks which who do not have very much liquidity at hand to support these kind of uh, corporates to deal with the debt burden. So, on the both sides, there is a an increase in the debt, uh, the the uh, uh, defaults or the bad loans. UP does not have a big industrial base. Yes, but GST collections from the state are very high. Yes, what is the reason? So firstly, uh, GST is a consumption-based uh, regime that we have uh, recently announced. And since UP is the largest consumer because of the high population, there is an increase in GST collections. Secondly, sir, again, uh, the, there are small MSMEs uh, which are large in number in UPs. And therefore, there is also this reason that uh, GST collection from that side is also higher. All right, Arjun, your interview is over. Thanks.